am I filming this literally the day before it's supposed to go up, less than 24 hours ahead of time? Yes. Am I stressed about the time crunch? Also yes. Everybody. my name is Danny, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another mood board video for you guys. It was supposed to be more Queen's Quartet characters, but I was going to do that before I had decided to take a break from the Queen's Quartet. So instead, you get to learn more about characters from Revelry in the Dark, which is my Dark Academia story that I had drafted this past NaNoWriMo and am currently reading through and taking notes on so that I can do the second draft this upcoming NaNoWriMo. I have talked about these characters on my channel before. I created a tag called the Superlatives tag or something like that that I will link for you guys and you can hear a little bit about the characters there. I don't remember what I said in that video so if anything is contradictory with what I say in this one, take the one, take, take the information from this video more seriously because that one was filmed when I was still figuring things out. This one I've gone through and I've done a whole first draft. I figured out who these characters are a little bit better. And so, yeah, I don't really have much more of an introduction. So why don't we just get into the mood boards? So first up is Georgie and she's the protagonist of our story. And boy, is she going through a time. Her father has recently passed. She failed out of her university and due to her brother's connections was accepted to transfer to the prestigious Westwood University to finish her degree. She's very unsure of herself, and because of that she has a hard time making decisions, which isn't helped by the fact that she's a little bit of a people pleaser, and so she makes decisions more for the benefit of other people than for herself. Her character arc progresses as she figures out who she is and how to stand on her own without having to rely on others for everything. She loves literature, mythology, and gardening, and those are all things that help her feel grounded on her worst days. She is also a big fan of peppermint hot chocolate, which is a treat that she shares with me. Next up we have Ara. She is Georgie's closest friend at Westwood University. She is half Korean and half Senegalese, I think is how that's pronounced. I am not entirely sure, but we're just going to go with it. She walks with a mobility aid due to a genetic condition, and she's very much a lesbian. She's a hopeless romantic with very high standards and also has a strong love for art, which is why she's pursuing a degree in scientific illustration. She's very strong-willed and stubborn, which counteracts the fact that Georgie can't make decisions for herself, so they kind of balance each other out in a way. Then we have Noemi, who is another new student to Westward University, starting when Georgie does, and she's moved from her native city of Florence, Italy, in order to attend. She's very skilled when it comes to all manner of musical instruments, though her true passion is for literature of all kinds, she speaks four languages and wants to be a literary translator. Noemi is very kind and a caring person to everyone she meets, but she is not a naive pushover as some people might assume based on her compassionate demeanor. She sort of acts as the middle ground between Ara's extroversion and Georgie's introversion. Then we come to Ollie. Ollie and Georgie have very similar personalities and neuroses, and I would just say that Ollie is a little further along his journey of learning how to live with all of his issues than Georgie is. He is shy and tends to keep to himself, partially because he is autistic and that often makes him feel like he doesn't fit in with other people too easily. Still, he is kind and compassionate like Noemi and likes to help others feel better, especially when he wants a distraction from his own issues. And finally, we come to the last of the friend group, River. They are a hopeless romantic, much like Ara, but with the dramatics cranked up to 11. Ollie and River exist on opposite ends of the introversion and extroversion, but much like Georgie and Ara, their personalities balance out and make them work well together as friends. River's biggest flaw is that they have a tendency to take things personally, even when they have nothing to do with them. They are one to hold grudges, which does not help their on-again, off-again relationship with Vincent, who we will all meet in the next mood board video. River also has a tendency to stick their nose into other people's business, though they usually do so with decent intentions. And there you have it. Those are the five outcasts of Westwood University. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know down in the comments which of these characters you like the most, and stay tuned in a couple of weeks from now when you get part two, when you get to meet the academics of Westwood University. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel for more content, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!